this video we will discuss the problem core schedule the problem says that total n tasks are there that you have to pick uh, the tasks are labeled from 0 to n minus 1 and some of the tasks have the prerequisite task so for example to pick the task 0 you should first finish the task 1 and their relationship is given as pair 0 1 so if this pair is been given to you if suppose has a pair has been given to you like 0 and 1 so it says that for finishing the task 0 first of all you have to finish the task 1 that means that there is a directed edge from 1 to 0 let's say there is a pair a b so that means that for finishing the task a first of all you have to finish the task b so let us say that we have been given uh, n different uh, tasks let's say n is equal to 3 and we have been given m is equal to 3 that is m different pairs and the pairs are like this let's say the pair is 0 1 uh, then let's say the pair is uh, 0 2 and let's say another pair is 0 3 and we have uh, we know that a b a b shows nothing but b is pointing to a right b is having a directed edge towards a that is uh, for completing a first of all we should complete b here right after this part is done so what you will observe is that if you try to make the graph so you can see that for zero you should uh, for uh, completing the task zero you should complete the task one for completing the task zero you should also complete the task two for completing uh, the task zero zero you should also complete the task three beforehand so you can see that this will be the order and now in which orders can you do so maybe you can do the task one first of all then you can do the task two then task three and then task zero first because you will be finishing the task one two and three before doing the task zero or you can do it like this two uh, then three then one and then zero or maybe you can do it like one three two and zero so you can see that there can be various others order as well but basically the thing is that zero will be done only after the task one two and three are done in any order because one two and three are not dependent here so that is what uh, the order is and this type of approach this type of sorted order uh, this type of uh, order is known as nothing but topological sort now how do we solve this topological sort so for solving the topological sort we can simply apply the concept of bfs and the algorithm for it is known as kahan's algorithm so we'll be applying the kahan's algorithm uh, kahan's algorithm here that is nothing but bfs for solving this kind of problem so suppose that we have been given uh, uh, dependencies like this suppose we have 5 then uh, we have 0 we have here 4 we have let's say 1 we have 3 and we have 2 and what is happening is uh, let's say 5 is pointing to uh, 2 uh, then like this uh, then 4 is pointing to 0 uh, then 4 is pointing to 1 then 3 is pointing to 1 and 2 is pointing to 3 if this is the happening so in that case the thing is first of all we'll make a in degree array okay so the first thing that we will do is we will make a in degree array for us now how will this in degree array look like so this in degree array will consist of the in degrees let's say 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 the in degree array will tell me that how many edges are coming towards that particular edge if the in degree let's suppose of 0 the for 0 the in degree will be 2 so in that case it tells me that for 0 the total number of uh, edges coming towards uh, 0 is nothing but 2 so what i'll do is i'll start my iteration from 0 and i'll 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 go till the end and i'll increment the frequency i'll increment the in degree one by one so i will say that zero is not pointing to any edge so no in degrees will be uh, incremented after that i can say that one one is also not having any edge towards any other uh, node so that's why uh, it will not increment any in degree then i can say that uh, two is having an uh, edge towards three so i'll say that three's in degrees increase by one then i can say that uh, three is having an in, in degree uh, three is having edge towards one so one in, in degree increases by one then after that i can say that 4 is having in degree towards 0 and 1 so that means in degree of 0 increases by 1 and in degree of 1 also increases by 1 so in degree of 1 becomes 2 then after that in degree of uh, like 5 is having edges towards 2 and 0 so the in degree of uh, in degree of uh, 2 ingre increases by 1 so it becomes 1 and the in degree of uh, 5 uh, like in degree of uh, this value 0 also increases so it becomes 2 so this is the in degree that i have made right this is the in degree array that got updated after this what we will do is we will have a queue because we are doing a bfs so we'll make a queue for ourselves and in that queue what we will basically do is in that queue we will push all the nodes that are having the in degree as 0 so we can easily observe that the nodes that are having in degree as 0 is nothing but 4 and 5 so first of all maybe we can insert 4 then we will insert 5 after that what we'll have happen is we'll have our answer uh, answer array as well so first of all we'll insert 4 right after we have inserted 4 so what will have to happen after we insert 4 so after we have inserted 4 so we will take out 4 and we we remove 4 right that means that we have done the task 4 so if we do the task 4 so you can observe that if we are doing the task 4 so the task 0 and the task uh, 1 will can be done after that so you can see that uh, like their in degree will de uh, decrease by 1 so zeros and ones in degree will decrease by 1 
so i'll similarly decrease the indices of 0 and 1 by 1 so that means the indices of 0 becomes 1 indices of 1 also becomes 1 after that i i will take out the next node so the front node is 5 so i'll take out 5 and once i take out 5 so i'll remove these uh, i'll remove these nodes so that means uh, indices of 2 and 0 will reduce by 1 so that means indices of 0 and 2 will reduce by 1 so this becomes 0 and this becomes 0 i can see that uh, 0 is the node that is becoming uh, that is having indices 0 so i'll insert it into the queue then i'll insert 2 into the queue as well after that i'll take out 0 so after i take out 0 so i can see that 0 is not having any uh, any edge towards any other node so that's why i'll, I'll pop i'll pop out 0 after that i'll have 2 so i can see that 2 is having an edge towards 3 so i'll i'll pop out 3 and i'll say that okay if i remove 2 if i remove 2 then in that case what happens 3's indices becomes 0 right it decreases by 1 so it becomes 0 after that uh, i can see the 3's indices becoming 0 so i'll push 3 into the queue then i'll pop out uh, like i'll have 3 i'll pop out 3 from the queue and i'll insert it into the answer then i can say that if i remove 3 so the 1's indices will decrease by 1 so 1's indices now becomes 0 after that i can say that 1's indices has also become 0 so i'll insert 1 into the queue then i'll have 1 and this is one of the orders right you can see 4 5 0 2 3 and 1 uh, other order could be that you could write it like 5 4 0 2 3 and 1 but uh, but uh, irrespective of the fact like uh, either you write this order or this order the dependencies are first resolved and then they are inserted into the answer so both the answers will be correct let us try and implement this code uh, like how we'll be implementing so for this what we will be having is we will be requiring several things so the first thing that we require here is we require the adjacent like we need to make the adjacency list first of all so we will have what we will have vector int ad, ad, um, uh, adjacency and the adjacency list will be for n nodes so what we will be doing is we will be simply iterating so i'll say that for uh, auto i is to prerequisite array let's say i name it as prerequisite so i'll iterate through the prerequisite array first of all and in the prerequisite array what i will be doing is i will say that what i will in the prerequisite array i have two parameters a and b so what does it mean so that means that b is pointing to a right b is having an edge towards a so i'll say that in the adjacency list of b i need to insert a so in the adjacency list of uh, i is to i1 i need to insert what i need to push back i need to push back nothing but a right this is what uh, like i need to push back nothing but i of 0 right that because it has been given in terms of a vector so i need to push it like this once i have made the adjacent, adjacency list so i also need an answer vector so i'll say vector int uh, ampersand uh, like vector int answer after this part is done so what i will be doing is i'll be calling a bfs and in that bfs uh, that bfs will help me to resolve this uh, like this will be the kahan's algorithm that i'll be applying so i'll i'll pass the adjacency list i'll pass the answer vector and i'll pass n i'll pass n that is the number of tasks and what i will be doing is like after i get some answer right so let's say like when will the dependencies not be resolved so there could be a case when the dependencies are not resolved let's suppose that if it is it has been given to you like this so in that case you can say that uh, the answer will not be possible because like if if suppose that this has been given to you so in that case what you will say is that uh, in the you will say that okay uh, first of all zero is having the in degree zero one two and three so you can see here that zero the node zero is having the in degree as zero right zero and other nodes are having the in degrees right uh, like one is having the in degree as two then two is having the in degree as i think one then three is having the in degree as one here as well so you'll see that if you if you uh, remove zero right if you remove zero so that means one's in degree becomes one but after that you can see that no other node is having the in degree as zero so that is why you can see because here the thing is that one is dependent on two two is dependent on three three is dependent on uh, like uh, like one is depend like you can see that uh, like three is depend one is dependent on three but before 3 gets resolved, I need to resolve 2. And before 2 gets resolved, I need to resolve 1. So that's why there is a deadlock. So in the answer, just one node is present. But actually, the size, the n value is 4. But answer size is having just 1. So that's why when the answer is not equal to n, in that case, I'll return a, I'll return a minus 1 for this case, right? So this is what I will be doing. Now, in this particular problem, what we need to do, right? So we need to run the BFS call. So basically, what we will say is that we need to have a void BFS. Uh, in this BFS, what we will be doing is we will be having uh, we will be having the adjacency list. Uh, so vector int uh, adjacency list. Apart from the adjacency list, what I will be having is I'll be having the uh, vector int ampersand answer. And apart from the answer thing, I'll also be having this uh, n value, right? So I'll be having int n as well. And as I mentioned here, after the BFS call is done, so what I will do is if answer dot size is uh, equal equal to n in that case what i will do is i'll return the answer because all the uh, all the uh, order is correct because all the nodes have got result otherwise i'll return a empty vector here 
right this is what i will be doing and in this bfs calls what i will be doing in this bfs calls i'll simply say that first of all i need to have a queue so i'll have a queue uh, int queue after i declare the queue so what i will be having is i'll be having the vector int uh, in degree and in the in degree uh, of n number of courses are there so i'll mark all the in degrees initially as zero and then i'll iterate through all the pairs so i'll say that int uh, like i starts here i need to i should be passing m here right so here i'll i should be i think i should be passing no it's correct right so here what i should be doing is uh, i should have the all the in degrees as this then i'll i start from zero i is lesser than n and i plus plus i'll increase the in degree for every guy so for uh, auto uh, let's say child is to adjacency of i so for all the adjacencies i'll be incrementing so i'll say that in degree of a child in degree of the child plus plus right so i'll increment the in degree of my children then so on the, once the degrees are incremented so what i'll do is i'll run a loop for int i starts from zero i is lesser than n and i plus plus and i'll push all the nodes that are having the in degree as zero so i'll say that q dot push i'll say that q dot push nothing but what i'll push into the queue all the nodes that are having the in degree as zero so if it happens that the in degree initially in degree of ith node uh, is equal equal to zero right in degree of the ith node uh, is equal equal to zero then in that case what i need to do is i need to say that i will do what q dot push uh, i i'll push the ith node into the queue then what will happen i'll run a bfs so i'll say that while q dot size is going to be greater than zero till then i'll be running this and here what i need to say is i'll take out the current node so int current node is equal to nothing but q dot front i take out the front node and after i have taken out the front node so i'll pop it out and then i need to i need to mark all the like all the children uh, in the adjacency list of this i need to mark their uh, their uh, their uh, in degree as uh, uh, de degree as decreased by one right so here what i'll say is that i'll say that answer dot push back i'll push back into the answer nothing but uh, the current uh, the current node right i'll push the current node into the answer because it has it it must be having in degree as zero then what i'll do is as i said i'll be doing auto uh, i is to adjacency of the child uh, adjacency of the current node okay adjacency of the current node so let's say i mark this as child here so what i will be doing here is i'll be decrementing the in degree of the children by one so uh, in degree uh, of the child minus minus so i'll uh, decrement their their in degrees by one and if it happens that uh, in degree of uh, my child in degree of my child uh, becomes zero if it's equal equal zero then i'll push it into the queue so i'll say that q dot push the child right so that is what i will be doing here and this is how it will get resolved one by one so this is how the answer will get stored and in the end i'll simply return the answer if uh, the answer is equal to n that is answer dot size is equal to n in that case i'll return it so let's see if it works so we are having some compilation errors so it is saying that i was not declared so where should i declare i so it is saying that i was not declared let us quickly declare it so here i should declare it like int i let's see if there is any other compilation error so we are getting the correct output for some sample test cases let us try and submit this code so you can see that our solution was able to pass all the test cases and uh, this was successfully solved uh, thank you for watching this video